so what you see behind me right now is two different clips of Lucario in Pokemon Unite. And Lucario is level 5, taking damage from an Audino. But there's something very different about these two Lucarios, even though you can't really see much of a difference. And that difference is about to pop up right now. And if I pause the video here, I don't even really have to do enhance. You can just kind of see it in plain sight. What you see here is that the Lucario on the right has a much larger shield than the Lucario on the left. So, whoa, well, cool news. We can make Lucario's shield bigger. Well, how would we go ahead and do that? Probably just increase his HP or, okay, maybe HP isn't it. Maybe, maybe if we increase his defense, that'll make his shields go a little bit larger. That's what you would think. But there's a lot of things in this game that are not very intuitive that I want to help explain away so that you can have a better understanding of what items you got to pick, so that you can have a better understanding of what moves you got to make, and to make it so that you just have more informed discussions about Pokemon Unite. And to answer that question as to how do you make his shields larger, you have to increase his attack power. So Lucario on the left here has no items. Lucario on the right has a float stone, a muscle band, and a fully boosted up attack weight. Also, one other thing you might have noticed is it's a 98 on the left-hand side and a 104 on the right-hand side. That's because the wild Pokemon gain more power and more HP as the time goes on. So Audino on the right was actually further along in the game because I had to farm attack power. So the main thing I want to teach you guys today is how attack damage works in this game, be it skills or basic attacks. In my most recent video with Pikachu, I told you that the special attack items are not good on him because it's true. And we're going to talk about why that is. But to really exemplify this, to show you a this versus that and why equipping items is a lot more complicated than you might think it is, we're going to start with Venusaur because Venusaur is a really good way to show it off. So we're going to use Solar Beam at level 15 with Venusaur, and you're going to see that the damage to the Substitute doll is 7,790. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to leave this match, and I'm going to put the Wise Glasses on Venusaur, okay? So the Wise Glasses I have provide a 5% special attack bonus, as well as a flat bonus of 19 to the special attack, okay? And that's the only item I'm going to put on, and let's see how the damage changes. So since we put on the Wise Glasses, and we're getting a 5% bonus to our special attack, plus a little bit extra on top. I think intuitively, you would be like, oh, that means my attacks are gonna be 5% stronger, right? Well, let's see if that's true. So if our attack before with the solar beam was 7,790, 5% better would be 8,179. Okay, so let's see what actually happens. You'll see what happens is it's only 7,885. Meaning that having Wise Glasses equipped only gave you an extra 95 damage. That's it. So what does that actually turn out to, huh? Really what that was, was a 1.2% improvement on his Solar Beam. This is why I really want to talk about this stuff, because it's not intuitive. Same thing with the Lucario thing, it's not intuitive. You would think, oh, Venusaur, he does special attacks. Let's put on special attack items. No, you probably shouldn't because Venusaur is very bad with them. Now, the part where it gets complicated is not all special attackers do the same things with these items. They're not all bad. Some characters do well with them. But let's start cracking into why that is, and then you'll be able to understand how some of these other characters are better with them and then you're gonna have to really make informed decisions and frankly i'm probably gonna have to go through some of my old guides and repair how we think about these things so let's go into a really good math resource that i found and help you kind of start figuring things out from there okay so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to click this on and you'll see i bring up this website now this website is called unite db I found this on the Pokemon subreddit, the Pokemon Unite subreddit. And what this website aims to do is provide a lot of the math behind a lot of these different moves. Now the website's not complete and they're trying to do as much as they can because they're kind of reverse engineering a lot of these things. But a lot of this is very, very, very accurate. And I'll put this in the description down below to help you figure things out. So on this website, you can pick all the different Pokemon and see what they're made of see their moves, see their skill sets. You can see a bunch of their stats, a bunch of really good information to help you make more informed decisions. So let's start 
with Venusaur here. And we'll take a look at Solar Beam, because that's the one in question. And what you'll see as we go through these moves is they have these equations. And all these moves follow these equations. And they all have a similar cadence. So let's take a look at the damage here for Solar Beam. There's three parts to how these moves typically work. There's usually a base value, so that's the white number here. And that's the number that is the same no matter what level you are. It is unchanging. So it's all, there's always a 230 damage inside of Solar Beam. And then there's a second part here. And this part is a multiplier based off your level. So specifically for Solar Beam, you would take 5 times whatever your level is minus 1. So for level 15, it'd be 5 times 14. And then 5 times 14, that would be 70. So not a big deal. So right now we're between the 230 and the 70. We're only at 300 damage. And now for the final part here, this is the part I think is really important that will help you really understand what items you should pick. So in the case of Venusaur here, his Solar Beam only uses a 27% multiplier on his special attack to help boost the damage of his Solar Beam, which is not a lot. So to keep numbers easy, let's say his attack was 100. And then what you would do is you would multiply 100 times 0.27 and what that results in is it's only 27 damage and then if you go ahead and you try to take 27 and make that five percent better it's not that great where what you would assume is that you would take this whole thing and make it five percent better but that's not how it works it's only within this initial multiplier here so to try to keep things simple i don't want to i don't want to overload you guys with a bunch of stuff you're like oh god it's, it's too much i don't care so the main thing you need to know is that if this number is low items are not going to benefit a skill a whole lot now again every skill is different so razor leaf only does 17 percent giga drain has 55 percent if this number is low items are not going to affect it much and then that could be special attack items for the special attackers and that could be a physical attack items for the physical attackers and now to show you what i mean about how some characters do better with this than others let's go ahead and take a look at a different character so we'll go to pokemon here and i believe mr mime does pretty well with the wise glasses so if we're into mr mime here and take a look at some of his skills you'll notice that the numbers are way different on the special attack it's a much larger percentage meaning that the higher that mr mime's special attack is it's a more pronounced benefit so if you take a look here when he's rocking confusion plus he gets a 213 percent bonus based off of his special attack so let's go ahead and see what that looks like when we put on the wise glasses so first we have to get a baseline so we're going to take all the items off of mr mime and then see how much damage confusion plus does at level 15. okay so we have mr mime here at level 15 with confusion plus let's see how much damage he does to the substitute doll and that damage is 1713. so let's go back and equip the wise glasses and see how that number changes before we go into mr mime just a reminder we have the pokemon unite guides channel and if you guys are already watching over there thank you so much but if you're on swing point take a look at the link in the description or the top comments and you'll see that we have a whole channel dedicated to just pokemon unite stuff i upload other stuff to swing point sometimes so if you're over on the pokemon unite guides channel you'll be helping us out we just started it. it's about two weeks old it's been doing great and thank you so much for showing up over there and then with that let's continue with mr mime so we have confusion plus on level 15 and now with the wise glasses and the amount of damage we do is now 1799 now that might not seem like a whole lot more but we got to take a look at the percentages here so we only had a 1.2 percent bonus on venusaur right pretty abysmal but now in the case of mr mime here it's 1799 where before it was 1713 and that improvement is about a five percent improvement so mr mime is getting way more use out of the wise glasses than venusaur is and part of the reason for that is that some of these skills in this game just benefit more from having a high attack or having a high special attack and some of them don't they are more just kind of set in stone this is the amount of damage you do and if your attack is higher or your special attack is higher oh well so now back to the website here to kind of bring this full circle some of these moves they just really benefit from having increased special attack power or increased attack power some moves are more reliant on that than others solar beam is not it's not a really big deal for solar beam but for confusion it's a huge deal you get huge percentages of increase based off of your special attack and this varies per pokemon and there's no real good rhyme or reason honestly like you can click through a bunch of these guys and some of them will really benefit from this like in the case of snorlax if you increase his attack power 
with an attack weight or something of the likes, you're going to see notable benefits because he really gets a good modifier off of some of his skills. And then you're going to take a look at other Pokemon like... I mean, Pikachu. That's why this is where this whole thing started was Pikachu. Pikachu's only getting 70% or 66%. Or heck, Thunder's only 18%. It's terrible. Just Electroweb's only 36 It's terrible on some of these Pokemon. Some moves just kind of have their own damage and the modifiers don't really change much. So if you want to make informed decisions, you got to research your specific Pokemon <laughs> to understand them. But now there is one other thing I want to talk about here, and that's Scald Bro. Because, again, things don't work the way you think they would. So with Scald Bro here, when he uses Scald, he reduces the modifier of either the basic attack or the skill by 0.3. It is not multiplied by anything. Things get additive here. So, let me try to really drive that home here. So in the case of Scald affecting Greninja... Let's go ahead and pull up Greninja here because it's great to use Scald against Greninja. So in the case of Scald working against Greninja here, let's say he's using Surf. Now you might be like, oh, well, does that mean that his Surf is just going to be 30% less effective? No, because of what we just learned. Some of these things are just kind of set in stone and aren't really affected by modifiers. But Scald affects a modifier. So in the case of Surf here, you might be like, oh, well, if it's a 30% thing, well, then I would take 226 and I'd multiply that by, by 0.7. And what you would get is, oh, so that means that it's going to be way lower. It's only 158% because that's 30% lower. No, it is 0.3 lower. Because if you go ahead and you take 226, the real number behind that is 2.26. You would take his attack power and multiply it by 2.26. So what Skullbro does, since he reduces things by 0.3, that 2.26 turns into 1.96. So you don't hurt Greninja as much as you'd like on his abilities, but you really hurt him on his basic attacks, because the way basic attacks work is they also use the modifier, except the modifier is 1, typically. So if your attack power is 400, you multiply 400 by 1, and that's your attack power unless there's a modifier. So if Scald Bro hits you against your basic attacks, you're doing your 400 attack power, but then it is 400 times 0.7 because Scald Bro reduces the modifier by 0.3. That might be a little confusing and a little wordy, but I hope that helps clear things up a little bit with how some of these characters work. Scald Bro's awesome. There's no other character in the game whose burn is as good as Scald Bro's. I'm telling you, man, I have a whole video on him. He can really mess with some of these physical attackers. And now one last thing to keep in mind here is that all basic attacks in this game are physical attacks. Okay? That's even on, like, characters like Mr. Mime. If he's just punching you, that's a physical attack. It's not a special attack. So items like the attack weight or the muscle band, they will work on every character. And they will do exactly what they say they do for your basic attacks. However, where things get messy is when you take a look at the skills of these characters. And that's where you really have to start paying attention to these multipliers and test things out for yourself to determine whether or not it's worth it. So in the future, I will be letting you guys know in my character guides as to what I would recommend items off of based off of a lot of this really in-depth information. So Pikachu, really, the Pikachu guide I had really goes into this. And then in the future, we'll go a lot more in-depth with other Pokemon. So, I hope this cleared things up a little bit. Again, things are complicated and the math doesn't make a whole lot of sense with some of these things. It's not intuitive. But, it is there and we have answers, so I'm here to help guide you through it. We do viewer games every single night on twitch.tv slash swingpoint. Also, again, we have that new Pokemon Unite channel if you're already on the Pokemon Unite Guides channel. Thank you for being here. But if you're on Swingpoint, go check it out. Links in the description. Pokemon Unite Guides, we started like two weeks ago and it's been doing great. You guys are awesome and thank you so much for checking it out. But with that, we're going to end it here. Thank you guys so much. I hope this website and all this stuff is useful for you. There's also a Discord where people just talk about the math behind this stuff that'll also be in the description. And thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next video that we do around here. Time's up!